list of a backpack. The, I have to read this, Low Pro Pro Tactic BP450 AW2. A good backpack and worth buying. Well, that's what we are going to find out today by talking about the price, the dimensions, build quality, and of course, features like pockets and zippers and stuff. Hi everyone, it's Dan here from you Rock We Drone. I do aerial films and product reviews of drones, drone accessories, backpacks. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing to the channel. But for now, let's talk about the Low Pro Pro Tactic BP 450 AW2. From now on, I'm just gonna call it um, the bag. Otherwise, this video is gonna be way too long. However, the two in the version um, is important because it appears um, there's also a version three, which is $180 more expensive. So this one um, you can't even get on the official Low Pro website anymore because there you only see the new one, which is $370, right? Now, this version that we have here, the, the two version, um, uh, it costs uh, around $202. Now, obviously links to Amazon are down below. <clears throat> if you search elsewhere, like on BNH Photo, there you can see the new and the old version, right? So there you can see the price difference and you can see a slight um, difference in the model number. So that's, that's about it. I did do some digging and try to find out like what you really get for $180 more. The newer version like has, the inside is a little bit different. It has a few more compartments. And if I don't forget, I'll point it out when we get to the features section of the video. However, is it really worth an extra $180? I mean, not from what I have found. So we'll be, re we'll be reviewing the older version for around $200. Dollars. Now, in terms of dimensions, okay, so this thing is like 13.4 inches across, right? It's 20 inches tall, so it's a fairly tall backpack, so it's like as big as my entire upper body, kind of. Um, and I'm like five foot eight, maybe I'm five foot nine, something like that. Um, and then it is also 11.4 inches deep, which is quite deep for, for um, a backpack, all right? And it weighs a whooping 5.95 pounds. So that's almost six pounds. That's like 2.7 kilos for an empty backpack. Now that's a lot, if you ask me, that's a lot. It provides a lot of protection and padding and all of that, but it's a heavy backpack is what I'm trying to say. Also, there is a something something 350 AW something uh, version of this backpack, which has pretty much the same dimensions. I think it's slightly smaller. And the main difference is that this one can fit a 15.4 inch laptop in the compartment that I'm about to show you. And the 350 version um, can fit a 13 inch laptop. So something to, to keep in mind as you shop for the, this big version or a smaller version. Now, build quality, you know, it's low pro. Um, they started their journey in a small shed in Colorado in like 1967. So they've been doing this stuff for like over 50 years. Um, they now have like a design studio in Petaluma in California. They, they know their stuff, right? They, that is what they do. They make backpacks and they make professional backpacks and good ones. Top notch build quality. Don't know what else to tell you. I mean, this black, I mean, look at it. You know, it's like, it's really rugged. You know, it's, um, it's got all these latches. It almost looks like a military bag. It comes with a couple of these straps here. So you can strap to it whatever you want. I, I believe the, the base version comes with like a water bottle holder. Mine is somewhere, because um, I don't like to have it on there because I like the, the clean look, but a water bottle holder that you can strap wherever you want. And then also like a tripod holder. So mine would live down here and then the tripod slides in and then you have these straps here to like, you know, keep the, the tripod in place. But yeah, basically it's like a, a nylon plasticky kind of material. You know, the top is kind of hard. So like you can, there's an, 
another pocket there you can put hard drives there to protect your stuff or expensive camera and lens so it's really i mean it's really rugged but um in terms of like the protection it offers and like how easy it clean how easy it is to clean just grab a towel wipe some dirt off some sand whatever like it's um it's it's you know it's low pro it's it's top notch you know can't really complain about the build quality now in terms of features and there are a lot so um, i've just talked a little bit about all these straps here on the front already so you can buy additional like water bottle holders tripod holders um, just pouches that you can compartmentalize the outside with to make this thing even heavier and even more packed if that's if that's how you roll that's how you roll go with it but um, you can make this thing heavy right even if you just pack it up and have nothing on the outside like a heavy tripod or so this thing gets really heavy um because you're starting at six pounds right so there's that I mean, you can put multiple DSLRs in here and eight extra lenses. If you look at the, on the website, they say you can put your main, your main DSLR with like a 70 to 200 um, millimeter lens on it, an extra DSLR and eight lenses, right? I mean, you can really pack this thing up. Um, the, one of the, since we're talking about features, one of the weird things is like, you can't open it in the front. There's no, it's just, that's it. Right, so the front is kind of the bottom of the backpack because when you turn it around like this is how you open it you just always open it on the back or for quick access you can also open the top or the sides for that matter but in order to show you what what this backpack looks like and the storage capacity um, and this is also how you would pack it um, if we open this up you can see here Starting on the left, this is like your laptop pouch. Um, you can see that. I mean, I have like a, a landing pad in here right now, but that's where your 15, up to 15.4 inch laptop goes. You've got a small pouch here, large, large pouch there. Cables, adapters, range extenders, whatever it is you need can all fit in here. Then I've got the DJI Air 2S in there. I've got um, my controller and one two three extra batteries and obviously the battery inside the drone so i'm carrying a drone with the controller and four batteries and it's just taking up like a quarter of the backpack right it's amazing and then also the really cool thing is i can just access it with this front pouch here right and then bada boom I can just get to my drone without having to open the backpack at all. And as you can see here, um, it comes with all these different dividers. This one, div this, div this particular divider here has a pouch inside it. So I'm just squishing a bunch of cables in there, depending on, you know, iPad cable, iPhone cable, all of that stuff, right? And let's close this up to not drop anything. So yeah, my DSLR that is shooting this right now uh, would normally live down here. You can see here, I've got a, um, a 100 to 300 lens that lives up here. Got a, sm a smaller um, 45 to 150 lens, um, charging cables. I mean, this backpack isn't even packed, you know, like, I mean, GoPro clamp, um, drone charging cable like I mean you can modularize this thing until the cows come home I mean there is so many options everything you see is is removable right it's all velcro like the entire inside is velcro even the insides of the pockets is velcro so you can decide to maybe you don't want to use the pocket but you need more compartments boom you just like open this thing up and like velcro it to the side of the, the outer wall so it's um, there's many many um, possibilities here there's so much stuff you can fit in there I'll close this up real quick to show you the top one so as I said you can either open this side and then grab your DSLR boom right or on the other side you know you put your drone or whatever you know or one camera here other camera here drone at the top I mean you name it speaking of the top that's the other thing you just go like this and then bam 
you can access, maybe you put a big camera and a big lens up here at the top. So you just open the top, grab your camera. There's another compartment here, you know, right now it just has drone propellers in there, but that's a really good spot for like hard drives because it's protected by this, I don't know, I mean, it's not hard, hard, but it's like also not soft. It's like some plastic kind of version. So that's a really good, good, um, yeah, space for your hard drives. And then right underneath, there's a little pouch here for, um, you know, memory cards and that kind of stuff. And then you also have two pouches here on the, uh, on the outside and they are quite large you can see this one fits like a massive uh, what is this 20,000 milliamp battery right um, portable USB battery kind of thing of course it has um, a waterproof all-weather cover down down here right wraps around the whole backpack the whole nine yards also I can't show you because I don't know where it is um, it comes with a, a belt strap, right? That goes through here. There's another Velcro in there so that it stays in place. And then um, you can wrap the backpack around your waist. So to help you with um, carrying it. And it also has this active zone breathing mechanism. It's like, I don't know, some like soft um, padding that sits against your back when you're carrying it. I mean, look, if this thing is heavy and it's hot outside, like it is here in Florida, whew, you're still gonna sweat, right? But I guess it makes it a little bit more comfortable to wear. And especially if this is heavy, like the belt strap really, really helps. And then also um, at the top here, there's another little strap that goes across your chest. So then you can really like have the backpack quite, quite snug um, around you. Oh yeah, and it comes like with a top handle, which I always appreciate. This one has like some really, really rugged rubber around it. So like, I mean, you know, nothing's gonna do any, anything to this thing. It's, it's, it's good quality, for sure. Like, it's, it's an awesome backpack. Um, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this backpack, just because it is really cool. Um, it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty clean, um, very modular. Mm, maybe it is too modular for my liking. As I've showed you on the inside here, mm, there's so many different things you can do with this backpack. I constantly reevaluate the compartments within the backpack, which I don't know, maybe I just need more structure and somebody tells me this is where stuff should live, go use it that way, versus like having the ability to constantly like think about like, ooh, what if I like put the drone at the top and like one of the cameras down here and like, do, do I really need this, this, this compartment within a compartment? Like, so there is so many options, which is cool, but it's almost too much, right? It's almost too much. But if that's what you're into, like really, really customizing your, your gear, um, this backpack is probably for you. And then the other pet peeve that I have with this, which kind of drives the love-hate relationship is, if you put like a, a big iPad or a laptop in here and you really, really pack this up, like yes, it closes, but you can see this already, you know, you have some cables or some adapters here in the pouch because they're pouches. You're meant to be putting stuff there. It gets quite, um, I feel like, you know, you put a lot of pressure on your stuff. Right, so then, you know, at some point it gets really difficult to close and then like you have this bulky, heavy thing which like has your MacBook like right underneath and then, a, you know, a lens right there. So it's like this, I don't know, like everything is like so tight. I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh, it has this, um, this strap, right, to go on your luggage, which I highly, highly appreciate. Problem is exactly what I just said. If you go on a trip and you're flying somewhere and like you bring your laptop and you bring your chargers and you know, both of your drones and your cameras and all and the lenses and all that stuff and you squish it all in there and it fits, right? It's, it fits, it's, it's a great amount of space. But like A, it gets super heavy. I mean, of course you can't really do anything against that. I mean, the back weighs six pounds to begin with. But then also it gets so snug that you basically can't use this, this luggage strap because everything is so tight in there that you can't even squish this backpack over the luggage handle. I'm just saying like, 
you know, if you really pack this up to its capacity, then everything is so tight in there that you're almost a little scared for your gear. That's my experience. I might be crazy. I might be using it wrong. Maybe I have over compartmentalized it. I don't know, but that's been my experience. So that's all I have on the, I'll try one more time. The Low Pro Pro Tactic BP 450 AW2. Overall, great backpack. Would I spend $380 on it? Nope. $200? Yeah, just about. I mean, again, yeah, just about. I guess maybe a little bit cheaper would be great, but um, if you really need a lot of pockets, I mean, this is the backpack for you. You can do a lot with this, right? And um, it will not go anywhere because this thing will last. This thing will really last. So if you found this helpful, push the little thumbs up button. You know, YouTube really likes it and helps with the video. Links are down below in the description. If you buy through one of those links, it supports the channel at no extra cost to you. So thank you so much for that. And also consider subscribing to the channel. I've been reviewing a bunch of other backpacks recently that are either already published or are about to be published. So hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss those. And I will see you next week.